Greetings, this is Edward Ojango. In this tutorial, Python will be used for speech recognition. This is brought to you from the ojangoshop.com learning Python course and learning PHP course. OpenAI Whisper API is an open source speech recognition model. The command line will be used for this tutorial. OpenAI Whisper can be compiled from source at GitHub. It can also be installed from downloaded binaries. I used the GNOME console for pre-installed Python, FFF, MPEG, and Whisper. So from the Whisper website, as you can see here, they do have some instructions how to set up, like what version of Python you need, the command to use, if you want to use it from uh, GitHub, how to update, and for other Linux distributions like Ubuntu and Debian, I'm using Fedora Linux. So my commands will be different. This is Arch, Mac OS, Windows. Uh, so it's cross-platform compatible. It's obviously open source if you use it in Rust. And there's different uh, models and languages. So the smallest one is the tiny one. You can do English only. That's the tutorial we're going to do today. Or you can do the multilingual. That's if you want to do translations. In my case, I'm only going to use the base model. It's a little bit bigger than the tiny, but it's accurate enough. And I'll only be using English. So these are the requirements for your VRAM. And this is the relative speed. So I prefer base because it's 16 times uh, faster than the large. And it's also, it's not as fast obviously as tiny, but it will be good enough for my use cases. You can also use small, and you can see as when you get to medium and large, the VRAM required uh, it gets much larger and see all there's all a bunch of instructions here and the command line usage and also how to use it in Python that's what we're going to do today so let's begin so on Fedora uh, in order to install some of the dependencies you need so you it will be sudo dnf install ffmpeg and python Pip. So I already have those installed. Then after that, you can run this command pip install uh, hyphen capital U open API whisper and you install all that's needed. I already installed it uh, previously. So in this current directory, I have a file audio.wave. I just changed the name because this is the file. This is an audio file for the previous tutorial, which was the. the we'll come, I'll, I'll explain the previous tutorial, which was the. Uh, the how to work it. So it's, you type whisper and help, and it'll give you all the commands uh, for whisper. So in my case, it's whisper, audio, dot wave, and then the model I want to use, the model is base, English, I press enter, and it will take care of that. So I believe you run out of memory because I'm recording in OBS and uh, it needs both of them in the GPU. So as you can see it's done here. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see uh, everything a little bit better. There we go. So I run that command and this is uh, the result. As you can tell, there's a few mistakes. For example, this one where it says the three million incorporators, that is supposed to be a thread arithmetic operators and the other mistake it made was the it says jumbo shop that should be O jumbo shop with an A and an O in the front it's one word and same here it should be O jumbo shop O jumbo shop dot com and there should be you know jumbo services somewhere as well so those are the mistakes the other mistake it did was here it says the capability reader that should really say uh, your reader from Amazon and another the final mistake was 
the link signing subscription services. Uh, this is supposed to be in the link is in this in this description. And another mistake here is for school. You got this right, but then SC uh, is missing the C and an extra O for twenty percent off. So overall, I chose the base model because it's accurate enough. There's just a few little mistakes here which needs to be fixed. So as I mentioned earlier, if we go back to the here, uh, the reason I chose the base model is because it's 16 times faster than the large model. And I don't need as much VRAM as you can tell. I was having issues recording OBS and it as well. So uh, base is fine, tiny will probably not be as accurate. I can probably have tried small, but I'm relatively happy with the, the base and I can fix those issues. So if we go back here, uh, I want to show you what happened in the folder. You see the folder here? Uh, previously I only had the audio.wav file. So what Whisper did is it created this one, two, three, four, five files. So what I can do is I can right click here and open this with the MPV media player and watch what happens. You see, you can see the captions or the subtitles. Okay, so also on the command line, I can do the same thing as well. I can run the, I can run an MPV like this. So, as so you can use your favorite uh, media player to play it, and I said you can simply, uh, the good thing about the subtitles is, you know, you can go there and fix those mistakes, and then you can upload it to your favorite uh, platform. Thank you. Okay, so for Python, I'm going to use the command line, since I'm here in the command line. So, I'll create transcribe.pi using nano. And it's pretty straightforward. The first thing you do is you import whisper. Then you pick your model. So I'm going to use whisper.load.model. I'll use the base English. Because it's it reveals, I mean the audio is always in English. And what I'll do here is model.trans. Uh, the audio dot wave file and I'm going to print the result and I'm going to print it out a uh, simple text okay then python transcribe Take a few seconds and ooh, no, an error. Let's fix that error. So I had to stop recording because I'm using OBS, it wants to use the graphic card and this also needs the graphics card at the same time. So this is from Python, you see because I only wanted the text and this is how we did the same thing. So you can see it's the same problems again, the three million operators that should be at the Remitic operators and the Jumbo shop.com problem again and this one should be the link is in the description. And yeah, that's that's it. everything. Also, this is a brief. Oh, this one here was this should be learn PHP. I don't know why I put dot zero nine nine because I none of us say that. And yeah, so oh, this one is if you need 
custom websites this should be app as in a p p not app please visit and it should be ojango services ojango shop.com and all ojango services.com thank you so back to the article down here you can see there's a video for you there's some screenshots explain the results what the errors were and everything is open source python is open source F, uh, the open a ai whisper api is open source ffmv is open source mp3 the media player is also open source and as, as i mentioned if you want to learn python you uh, or you want to learn php you can visit ojangoshop.com we'll take a look at it in a second if you prefer ebooks you can click on the links below and you can get the learning python ebook if you want to have the interactive ide or the where you can compile but you can if you have your own system you can do that instead so you can get the learning python ebook or the learning Py uh, php ebook at amazon all the links are here in the references so you, any of them you want amazon and jamshop.com so if you go to uh, ojangoshop.com this is the learning python course remember you have you can use the promo code school that's s-c-h-o-o-l until the end of 2024 for 20% off or if you want to learn php you can also use the promo code school s-c-h-o-o-l until the end of 2024 for 20% off now if you need uh, something a little more custom or personal, you can visit ojangoservices.com. Uh, if you need a website or your website was hacked, you need somebody to recover your website, or you need to migrate, any platform, whether it's WordPress, Shopify, BigCommerce, any of them, it, it doesn't matter. Uh, proprietary or open source, as you know, I always work with open source software, I can help you with that. And if, if, you, if you need an app, whether it's a desktop app, a mobile app, just a web app, it's cross platform, again, I can help you know whether it's HTML5 or native, you can just uh, give me a shout. And if you need uh, any training or pro if you want to learn how to program, I've been programming since 1985, so I can help you with that. Any language you want, whether it's JavaScript, Java, PHP, Python, Rust. Any, it doesn't matter. C, C++. I can help you with that. It, it can be one-on-one -on -one tutorials online. It can be in person. If you want to travel all the way to Ontario, Canada, that's fine. But I, we can do it online, no problem. So if you're in North America, you call this number. If you want to do a direct dial, then you call this number. Or if you want to contact me by... Uh, you can use this form here, you just fill in your information, the time frame, the budget, just hit send, and I'll get back to you within a day. Okay, thank you.